okay, Elon Musk has this interview question where he asks you if you go one mile south, one mile west, and one mile north and end up at the same spot on planet Earth, where are you? So I'm going to give you the, the full solution to that question. So come over here and look at the piece of paper. At first glance, under Cartesian geometry, we think of it like this, one mile south, one mile west, and one mile north, and we say, oh, there's this big gap. You don't end up in the same spot. But in spherical geometry, I'm gonna use these twist ties to kind of represent the path. So this is what you might think of it as. But as you go closer and closer to the North Pole, this angle gets steeper and steeper, and the North Pole is a solution. So if we start on the North Pole, go south, west, and north, we end up back on the North Pole. So we want to know where else on the planet does it have this property. So if we kind of move lower and lower towards the equator, as long as we're above the equator, um, this gap here is, is a little bit less than one mile. And then when we're exactly a half a mile above the equator, that's when the gap is exactly one mile. But then as we get below the equator, the gap becomes more than one mile. But now look how this, this is getting wider and wider and wider, and as we go... Let me switch this ball again so we have this. Now suppose this is the South Pole. As we keep going closer and closer to the South Pole, what it means to go west becomes really weird, and we end up with a path like this. So when the circumference is exactly one mile, we, we start off um, here, go one mile south, one mile west, and one mile north, and end up in the same spot. So the trick was that the circumference was exactly one mile. Um, but another solution here, I have another one of these twist ties. We could have gone exactly two loops around. So that's what this solution is. It goes uh, one mile south, then it goes exactly two around, and then back. And But there's nothing special about two. We could have gone three times around, four times. As long as you go an integer number of times around and come back, you'll end up at the same spot. But, but if, you, um, if you don't go an integer number of times around, say like this, like you know one and a half times around, then you'll end up somewhere far away. Okay, now we're looking at the South Pole, the center of this thing here, that's the South Pole. So if we start here, we go one mile south. Now this circle is constructed so that its circumference is exactly one mile, so that's one mile west, and then one mile north, we end up at exactly the same spot. So this, any, any, if we start anywhere along this circle, it has this property. So there's nothing special, special about going around exactly once. We could go around exactly twice, so that's what this orange circle is. We go one mile south. Now this has a circumference of a half. So if we go around this one twice, that's going around. That's going west exactly one mile. And then one mile north, we end up back on the orange circle. So starting anywhere in the orange circle is also a solution. And similarly for three times around, that's what this green one is. We could go start in the green one, go down. This inner green circle has a circumference of one third. So if we go around three times, exactly three times, we end up on the green circle. And similarly for four times around, this red circle, we go four times around. So we see these finer and finer rings uh, getting closer and closer to a, a radius of one around the, sort of the South Pole. And there's infinitely many of these rings so now if we plot that as a function of radius, so now here's the radius of one. The south pole is over there, one unit over. And this one here is, is one over two pi. This is one over two pi times two. This is one over two pi times three, and so on, one over two pi times n. So each, each one of these times that it goes to zero, here we're doing three laps around, four laps around, five laps around, six laps around. We're doing these tighter and tighter laps. So we end up with this chaotic behavior, an infinite series of these concentric circles getting closer and closer together as you get closer and closer to a radius of one away from the South Pole. And, that, and you get this crazy chaotic behavior where the function is discontinuous there. So... We've characterized 
all the solutions to this equation. Now, for people that are uh, followers, followers of the flat Earth, um, you still get the North Pole. The, the flat Earth kind of has a, a, a map of the Earth like that. They actually get the geometry of the North Pole correct. So the flat Earthers will get this one one mile south, west, north. They get the North Pole as a solution. But then the South Pole, they have this ice wall here. And you don't have the same geometry in the flat Earth. So you probably won't be hired by Elon Musk for SpaceX or Tesla um, because you'll you'll neglect all those solutions at the South Pole, which is probably not a really good idea. So maybe at least for the interview, you can fake it and, and, and uh, talk about the South Pole solutions. And that's all I wanted to say. That's the full solution of this uh, problem. And thank you very much.